Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to part 2 of the FF class Power Mac G4. Um, if you remember last time, uh, what did we do? It was such a long time ago now actually. Um, we upgraded the RAM, we, well, we had our first look at this thing, uh, of course upgrading from the the dual 867 megahertz up to the dual 1.42 uh, we got two gigs of ram in here um looked at the hard drives etc 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 um swapped out the psus of course um although you didn't see that because as i said in the previous video the video uh decided to corrupt itself um but yeah i, ju I just moved it over from its usual corner and have um moved it onto its own little uh, test bench here <laughs> So um, today we're going to be upgrading the graphics card. Um, if I just show you now, if I move the keyboard and the mouse out of the way, and let's open the door, you probably, well, it's been a good month since we had a look in here. Last time, dual uh, 1.42 gigahertz processors, which I will overclock uh, in sometime in the future. Um, we've got our three hard drives in there at the moment um, the two gigs of RAM of course in there um, and there is the ATI Radeon 9000 Pro now that is what we're going to be focusing on today um, you may well you, you almost definitely know of um, Tom Smith from It's My Natural Colour um, of course he has a 1.4 dual 1.42 gigahertz uh, Power Mac G4 MDD and um, he has a 7800 GS I believe in his um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but he was selling his um his old graphics card that originally came with this machine. Of course, I I, I have nine thousand Pro, which is a pretty poor uh, graphics card when it comes to uh, running Leopard. It's fine under Tiger, but under Leopard, it just struggles a lot. Um, now I did take a look at Flash in a card, something like um. Uh, a, I don't know, an FX5200, similar to what I had on my G5, or a 7800GS. But I don't have, a, don't have a PC to be able to flash it, and I've never flashed before, and to be honest, I just cannot be doing with it as of now. I may do it sometime in the future if, I fe if I'm feeling adventurous, but um, I want to go stock Apple, um, for now, anyway. So I decided um, to buy is NVIDIA GeForce 4 TIE card. Now this is a beast of a card. This is, I th believe, the highest end um, GPU you could buy officially from Apple for these um, machines. Uh, 128 megs of VRAM it's got, if we take a look here, uh, DVI and ADC. I'll be using the DVI, of course. Um, so it should all be jolly. And it's got this massive sort of... Um, support bracket on it so it slides covers the entire width of the, of the AGP slot and uh, slots in nicely um, underneath there so close the window I'm um, just oh, sorry just before I do actually put this in I want to um, benchmark the 9000 Pro and um, I close the, the curtain so you can see a little better as you can see there the specs if you haven't seen part one yet I uh, highly recommend you go check it out um, it's a massive buttload of, of uh, PowerPC geekness. Um, if we go to this graphics displays there, you can see um, ATI Radeon 9000 Pro um, doesn't support um, core image, which sucks. I, this doesn't either, though. Um, but it, it's just it's just the power of the card is is much better than this, regardless, and it, it runs it runs leopard fine, guys. So it doesn't really bother me that much. And as I said, if I do want to get something even more powerful in the future, I can always um flash um i do i remember using these programs on um on my g5 but i cannot remember the the results but we're gonna go just with those three we don't really care about them um as they're not going to change so i don't know how long this will take but um, i'm going to speed up time now and um i'll start talking again when it's uh finished Okay, um, so we got a result of 29.3, um, again I don't know because I forget what, what my results were on the G5 so we're just going to have to wait until um, I put the 4600 in, um, but yeah, 
quartz extreme test. We're just going to focus on these. Well, let's just focus on the top one. 29.03. Uh, forget about all of that. Um, of course, it's screen 65.16. You can keep an eye on that too if you want to. So, yeah, um, I can't say if they're good scores or not. I, I'm assuming they're pretty average for this kind of machine. Um, 9000 Pro isn't a bad card, it just strung, struggles under Leopard uh, quite severely. So, um, I really cannot wait to get this thing in now. So, um, we're going to open up the G4, of course, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so there is the 9000 Pro. I hope you've got a, a decent enough angle. Um, I never really went into that much detail about this card in, in the last video, as it was an upgrade that came with the whole machine as a whole. Um, but, yeah, it's a nice little card. It's really, really small. It's just got the little heat sink. Um, the 4600 does have a fan, so um, it'll be interesting to see how much noise that kick kicks out. Um, you probably won't be able to hear it over all the other fans. But um, it should be relatively simple. Always, 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 always... Remember to flick that little latch. If you don't, you'll end up snapping it, and it's just not a good time. It is a massive, massive faff to actually sort of get it out, though. I use a screwdriver or something to just lob it in there. But there we go, there is 9000 Pro. Really, really dinky little card. Um, simple as you get. Heatsink, ports, uh, PCB. Um, yeah, so what's coming in the future? Um, with this G4. Well, I want to get some sort of a KVM system going with, with the main cinema display. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, I want to get some well, some sort of an overclock going on here. I'm not sure whether I'm going to knock the voltage up, so I'll probably just get it to 1.5 gigahertz. Now, I know that won't provide much of a real-world improvement, but it's still an improvement, and it's the whole thing of, of making it fast. I want to get some sort of, um, you can't see it, but some sort of a front panel USB setup going in the front. Um, and of course I want to replace every single fan in the system, which is going to be, for me, the most exciting um, upgrades to make this um, pretty much the quietest MDD in the world. So, in slots of 4600 you can see the size of it. I don't know why they put that there, I'm assuming it was just so the thing didn't snap or fall out or something in, in shipping. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to affect heat onto the onto the card. Essentially, it should just blow it out over the RAM slots and out the front, or out the back. Sorry, but um, yeah, it's 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 a massive, massive, massive card. You'd probably even be able to just hack saw that off if you really, really wanted to. But um, it shouldn't make that much of a difference at all, especially with all the fans I'm putting in this thing. But in it goes. As you can see, the really nice little heatsink fan um, assembly. Yeah, there we go. That's the GeForce 4 Titanium installed in my PowerMac G4. Um, so I'm going to close it up now, and we're going to boot it up. I'm going to see how this card fares, and how much of an improvement um, it is over the 9000 Pro. So I'll uh, be back with you. So um, I've never tested this card, of course. This is all risk now. We're going to press the power button. Well, we got a bong, which is always a good start. I trust Tom to have not sent me a, a, a faulty card. I can't remember if I've actually bought stuff on it off him in the past. I don't think so. I've got a feeling this camera is going to go out of focus on the splash. Yeah. Oh, no, it's just held together. <laughs> this camera sometimes behaves really, really well, and sometimes just autofocuses. It just has an off day. Today it's been pretty decent, though. Again, you'll, I'm not sure if I've shown you a part one, but you'll get a sense of the really, really surprisingly quick boot-up time. Uh, Leopard, I've always found on these G4s to be relatively slow. As you can see, you've got names there. Um, this computer was actually used as my family sort of main computer for web surfing and stuff um, for a good few weeks while while the, the family it's running Linux now, the Linux, Linux PC was um, being repaired but yep yeah, here we go I did save the document of the 9000 Pro's uh, Xbench result um, so we'll be able to see it I forgot to do it in open mark <laughs> yeah top professional me, but um, okay, we're just going to compare them on the uh, X bench. I've, I've heard 
mixed reports about open mark anyway. Um, let's get rid of the memory, the disk, and the CPU tests, and let's go. Again, I'll speed up time, and I'll be back with you when it's complete. Okay then, so um, here we go. We've got 36.2 on the main result. So if we open this one, I'm not sure if you can open two at the same time. Yep, you can. We'll be able to see a side-by-side -side comparison now. You've got 36.2, this is the new card, versus 29.03 on the old card. So that's not as big of a jump as I was expecting. Um, but I guess core image does uh, affect that greatly. 73.02 on the quartz graphics test, 65.16 on the quartz graphics test on the old card, um, and you can sort of see there, 163, 146, 64 to 70, 64 to 70, 13 to 18. It, it's not that much of a difference. I, I, I'm quite surprised, actually. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more of an increase. If we go into about this mark, have a look um, to see exactly what's going on. Graphics and displays, GeForce 4 Tie 4600, 128 megs of VRAM. It should be able to cope with with uh, more stuff going at the same time than 64 megs. And it's a GeForce 4 Tie. Um, they're pretty very well. They're very hard to come by nowadays. And um, it just makes my MDD that little bit more powerful. Um, so we are getting there now, guys. Um, maxed out CP, maxed out, maxed out CP, maxed out CPU. Well, sort of. Um, again, I'll overclock that in in the future when I uh, grow the bollocks to do so. Um, max RAM, really nice little hard drives in there. You can see they boot up nice and speedy. Um, USB 2.0. Um, now an upgraded graphics card, the quickest one officially from Apple. Um, next time uh, should be some sort of a KVM uh, switch setup going on between the Mac Pro and uh, the, the G4, so that should be good. But until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.